What's going on Jeff fans, Matt O'Leary back with another video. As you can see, we are not at the home base. We are playing a road game. We are out in Canton. I am in my hotel room recording this video on what what is today friday morning there we go after the new york jets versus the cleveland browns game from last night of first preseason action in the hall of fame game uh super excited to be out here got to meet some jeff fans yesterday expect to meet some jeff fans tonight at our little event at jersey so if you're watching this and somehow here and you're going oh i'm looking for something to do today come out to jerseys in belden we're really looking forward to that but this isn't going to be like my typical, uh, you know, video after a game where we go through and break down like drive by drive what happened. Instead, I'm going to do my biggest takeaways from this game uh, because I think that's just a little bit more uh, appropriate for a day later and for a game in which, you know, it's not like you saw all the, the starters. You didn't see very many regulars. The Jets sat over 30 people in this game, which was kind of expected. So uh, let's get it rocking and rolling. Before we get into any of like individual stuff, something that one of my big, the, one of the first notes I wrote down was penalties. There were a ton a ton of penalties in this game. 12 for the Jets, 10 for the Cleveland Browns. Um, I don't know if it was just sloppiness of these teams not playing for a little bit, but there was just some gross penalties and whether, like silly stuff, like delay of games, uh, you know, offsides on defense, false starts, pre-snap penalties, which is just, again, something that is uh, usually av avoidable and something that you would like to clean up in a, in a perfect world. And, you know, the regulars weren't out there, so I'm not going to, you know, really pound that one home. But at times, penalties could be an issue for this team in years gone by. Uh, so I would like for that not to be the case going forward. But uh, we'll start with the quarterbacks. Uh, Zach Wilson started the game. Uh, I thought he looked okay. There was some, there was a really nice moment, which was the, the deep ball that he threw. Uh, really, really nice play. Uh, he finished 3 of 5 for 65 yards. Um, there was the on third down he kind of fell scrambling I wish he didn't uh, and picked up that first down to extend the drive but um, there was some good there was some bad he, he missed the third down throw a little high uh, and outside and just I wish they were able to sustain drives a little bit better uh, they were given some good field position a couple of times and you know they kind of just ended up settling for three a couple uh, twice uh, he yielded six points, I believe Zach Wilson did. Uh, but really, the highlight was the the throw on the sideline uh, up the left side. That was that was a nice look. I was happy for that. I got a, a nice cheer. But overall, I thought it was okay. I thought he looked okay. Was it stellar? I wouldn't say he was fantastic. I don't think he stunk. I thought he was pretty good. Uh, as for Tim Boyle and Chris Drevler, now those two did not look very good. Um, that, uh, Tim Boyle was 6 of 11 for 61 yards. Strevler 1 of 7 for 9 yards. Strevler really, really struggled throwing the football. He was very erratic throwing the ball. Um, just he, he's maybe going to be a practice squad player. Uh, it, it seems very obvious the pecking order of the quarterbacks with Rodgers 1, Wilson 2, Boyle 3, Strevler 4, and how they want to hold their guys or, or you know, however they want to roster these players. I think it's very obvious that those are the four that they're going to want to do. Uh, running backs, I thought Izzy uh, looked the best of the bunch. He had nine carries for 27 yards, so it's not like he ran wild. and None of the running backs really ran that well. They only had 53 rushing yards in the game, but he had 27 of those and picked up a touchdown, and he looked explosive on that touchdown. Uh, so good for good for Izzy. Like to see that. Uh, as for the offensive line, we're just sticking on the offensive side of the ball before we get over to some notes on the defense uh, and special teams. Uh, I, Mekhi Becton was obviously someone that we wanted to watch and someone that we were keeping a close eye on, and he played seven snaps uh, on offense. So how they handled it, I thought, was a little bit strange. The, before the game, they said that Mekhi Becton would play 20 to 25 snaps. He played seven. But then they would put him in on special teams, so like on field goals or on punts. Like they would have him, have him out there, you know, playing offensive line um, for extra point. You know, like in those situations. And maybe they're just trying to get like him in contact, and that's how they got his snap total up. But I expected him to get a little bit more run. But from what we did see, I thought he looked pretty good. 
I thought Makai Becton looked pretty good. He was throwing guys around, and granted, you know, if he, this is a sec, he was going up against the second or third team Cleveland Browns uh, defense, so keep that keep that in mind when you're going through this, but uh, he was noticeable, and I thought he was solid. Joe Timman, same thing. He's right now listed as the, the third string uh, on the offensive line. He had a ton of snaps, but I thought he, he held his own. He played well. The, the quarterbacks had pockets. It wasn't really like the pocket was breaking down a ton. I thought the offensive line played really solid um, uh, last night against the Cleveland Browns. Uh, As for, we'll we'll do receivers and tight ends quick. There wasn't, Malik Taylor had the one catch for 57 yards. That was the big one. Um, Brownlee, someone we were trying to keep a close eye on, two catches, 17 yards, didn't really have uh, a a ton. He was targeted five times, but... um, Strevler missed him a couple times, and there was one jump ball that he wasn't able to come down with. It was pretty good coverage on the play, but um, two for two for seventeen. Not really a huge day, but um, you know, doing what doing what he does at that point. Let's talk about on the defense. A couple things for me on the defense stood out. Uh, first and foremost, Trey Dean had eight tackles. He was all over the football field. Uh, so he is someone who is obviously fighting for a roster spot, and I thought he looked really good. Jamie and Sherwood, the linebacker three now officially, as Kwan Alexander is uh, no longer a New York Jet. He is a Pittsburgh Steeler. Jamie and Sherwood forced a fumble, had five uh, tackles. He was someone who I thought was excellent last night. Um, that, again, it's a, you can take it with a grain of salt going up against backups, but the Jets felt comfortable with his development, and he, I thought, with his play, was showing how far along he's come. Uh, he transitioned from safety to linebacker, so it was always going to take a little bit, but uh, I thought he looked well, uh, looked good. Uh, Will McDonald and Bryce Huff, both those guys were very, very noticeable. Will McDonald had three tackles. He did not have a sack, uh, but there were a couple points where he was getting pre- pressures in the backfield, uh, his spin move was on display. He looked fast coming off the edge. Um, that 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 I really did like to see. And Bryce Huff finished with a sack on the on the first drive. So that really wasn't you know all too surprising because we see Bryce Huff do that pr- pretty constantly. He, you put him in on third and long situations. You let him get after the quarterback. That's that's what he does. Now I didn't love how long both those guys played. <clears throat> Excuse me. Both guys played long into the fourth quarter, and you know maybe that just goes to show you how deep the Jets are at the edge position. But I was sitting there sweating, like, please don't let either one of these guys go down. Um, you know, in the fourth quarter of the first preseason game, and you know, luckily they they didn't, which is you know the first that's the biggest key. The preseason is get out of it healthy. Um, but I was like, man, they they did their job. They they were wreaking havoc in the in the backfield. They were getting in. Uh, getting after the quarterback and things you really love to see. A um, couple other notes. I thought that uh, Bryce Hall, he had a penalty. He didn't look fantastic. Um, yeah, I, I think he is what he is at this point. Brandon Eccles, kind of same deal. I didn't, I didn't think Bryce Hall or Brandon Eccles looked all that great. Um, although, like... It's funny to think that they were the, that was the starting pair, and Javelin Gidry was in too. So that was the Jets' three corners in 2021, uh, and now they're playing in the fourth quarter of the first preseason game. And Sauce and Michael Carter the second, and uh, and DJ Reed are all just you know chilling on the sideline. A lot's changed in him in two years at that position. So um, I didn't they didn't really stand out in a positive way. Last but certainly not least, uh, you have. Some special teams notes for you. Um, Xavier Gibson had the long return, 45 yards on the return. He's trying to make the roster, uh, obviously trying to you know make, make the team there. Uh, I think he's going to have a hard time doing it. I think Nicole Hardman's going to end up being the returner. Uh, but he had a really nice run out of the end zone late in the game. And as for the kickers and punters, I know like not sexy to talk about, but man, Zerloin was great. Three of three. He hit from 54. <clears throat> that was a long one. Uh, he was fantastic. You know, they picked up where he left off from last year. He was so good for the Jets last season. Uh, and Zerloin, like, nothing. First first one, 54 yards, bang, right down the middle. Uh, he was excellent. So we got to love that there. And Thomas Morstead punted five times, 248 yards, as long as 52. An obvious upgrade at punter. It was something that was needed. 
Uh, he was here with the Jets a couple of years ago when Braden Mann was hurt and he looked good. Uh, he was with the Dolphins last year and looked good. And Thomas Morse then in the first preseason game was used quite a bit, five punts, but 240 yards of punts, as long was 52. Um, I thought special teams looked looked solid as well. So there you go. Those are my takeaways from this game. Let me know yours down in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, I'm Matt O'Leary. I'll catch you next time.